everyone. Welcome to my YouTube. I am Jen. Um, today I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you of Creative Craft Academy's Kit of the Month. Um, I get these from Great Britain um, via Royal Mail every month. I'm super excited to see this month. I know what the project is, but I haven't looked at what was included in the project yet. i um, a little concerned because my box is a little damaged, but I'm sure it's fine. So we'll take a look and make sure everything is still good. As you can see, this was a really fragile one. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so looks like they packaged it really well. Um, so we should be good there. So let's take a look at all of the doodads first before we take a look at what's inside the package. Um, so this little guy over here. Oh, looks like some stuff leaked. Let's see if I can salvage any of it. Oh boy. Okay, so hopefully this is just gel medium. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look at the video to see which is which. If this is the crackle paste, might be in trouble. But um, so I do know that there's crackle paste, um, and typically there's gesso. Here we go, gesso. So white gesso. Um, so that one looks good, perfect. Um, and. So these two must be the crackle paste. So this one looks okay. This is a little milky substance. Oh, looks like this one. You can see that kind of leaked too. So it's super hard to get open. Um, give me one second. Oops. Okay. Um, I was able to get it open. Um, looks like mostly intact in there. Um, this is something. I'm not sure. Possibly crackle paste. I'll have to take a look in her video. Um, or gel medium. Very pretty though. Um, this one, don't, oh, it does open. Very sticky. Okay, I believe this is crackle paste um, because last month I got some that looked like marshmallow. This one, take a look at it, looks like a marshmallow to focus <laughs> without looking at my background. <laughs> okay, so that's what this looks like and even though it's sticky and slimy and all over the place, I think that will still work. So there we go. Um, now they do send these all the way um, from Great Britain to the United States. I am in Texas, so it does take a while, and then of course sometimes things happen, so no worries there. Um, next is my absolute favorite. She includes this in most of her projects, actually. Um, it's a very small amount, but a little bit goes a long ways. It is like pure gold, lovely happiness. I love, love, love this stuff. It's just gold pigment, um, but you can apply it in many different ways. Typically do that with um, gel medium, um, but there it is, the beautiful gold. I'm not gonna focus on that either. Oh, there we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, that is, my favorite part about this kit um, and I often use it in lots of my projects. I still have a green, green one sitting here, excuse me, and I've got the hiccups. Um, so a beautiful green one sitting here. I'd love to see a silver, Anna, if you're watching this, um, but the gold is amazingly beautiful and the green is too. Um, decoupage glue. Okay, so this is probably the gel medium. This is for fabric specifically, but um, that means these two are probably both part of the crackle paste. This, I'm assuming, is a foundation. I'll have to watch the video. 
and then this is the top coat. So, and I only know this from getting it last month, or in my last Seaside Trio kit, I believe is what I used it in. So this is awesome because it looks like we got a full set of decoupage glue, which I actually saw on her website, um, and I really wanted it. Okay, looks like my video stopped recording for a while, so I think I left off <laughs> with the decoupage glue. Um, great thing about Craftbox, you'll notice Craftbox name is on here, even though this is from Creative Craft Academy. Um, and her son, Anna, her son, sorry, I keep saying her name wrong, um, actually owns, operates both of these. So she has wonderful, wonderful products. Um, this is on the Craftbox website, um, Craftbox UK, um, or I'll even post the US Craftbox US um, in the description below. But they have amazing products, and this is a brand new one of theirs. I was haven't been able to order it yet because I have to pay for shipping from the UK site or I can do the US site. I just have to have a certain number. I think it's like $79 or something like that or maybe even $49. Um, something like that to get free shipping and so I usually try to do big orders at a time as you probably saw in my craft haul the other day. If not, I'll link that video below as well. So these are on the website. Long story short, haven't been able to order them yet. Super excited to have them in this kit. Um, in addition to that, I believe I showed beautiful, beautiful paint that was included in this box. There we go. Um, as well as the pigments. Um, also showed the um, gesso and crackle paste. So, oh, and that one's sticky. So I opened it up. Um, it was a very stressful moment just to make sure it all arrived in one piece and it did. A couple of the corners are scuffed, um, maybe even a little chipped right there, but beautiful, beautiful project. I'm very excited to do this one. Um, it didn't come with the paper I was expecting actually. I was, I thought we would have a butterfly. I'm a huge butterfly person. Um, but it did come with three beautiful choices. Um, for the rice paper, I'm wondering if we're going to use more than one, maybe all three. Um, I'm not sure. When I saw what I saw on the website, it looked like one, um, one piece, and it had a butterfly on it. But we will make do with what we have. Um, and there you go. That is my Creative Craft Academy monthly kit for the month of July. Um, beautiful kit. Can't wait to get started. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back. So, I did the kit. I followed the instructions. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I want to show it to you anyways. So this is the result um, of my Creative Craft Academy kit of the month for July. Beautiful, beautiful concept. Beautiful plates. I didn't do it right. So if you take a look, some of the times when you look at it, the gold is, oh, right there. The gold is super uneven um, and very swishy, and very splashy. And the reason is when I was, basically you put on the gold and then you wipe up the excess. When I was doing that, um, it kept tearing or pulling up the crackle paste. Um, so you'll see right here, I was trying to patch it and add some texture. Um, I don't hate that part, but um, there's little spots in here that you'll notice all over the place where that was occurring. So I just started basically rubbing less. Um, so even down here, you'll see a spot that there's no paste at all. Um, I was trying to be very, very gentle. I tried a couple different processes um, to try to stop that from happening and it just didn't happen. So I went with it. I left it. <laughs> um, I applied the gold as light as I could um, with a dry brush and some of the spots I love and in one angle it looks amazing and other angles not so amazing. Um, so lessons learned on this one. I also didn't use the um, rice paper that came with the kit. I used one that I had in my stash only because 
on her very first one when she was making the concept, um, she had a butterfly. Really loved the butterfly, really loved how the colors work together, um, everything like that. So I just, although I love this paper, I just really wanted the butterfly. <laughs> so um, I use that and I will use that paper on another project. So absolutely no issues there. Um, but I just wanted to stop and show you this is the result. Beautiful, beautiful this direction. Not so beautiful this direction. And it's not just the lighting. It really just doesn't. I mean, maybe in the daylight it'll look beautiful. Um, but I'm just not 100% happy with it. But you can't win them all. So um, this project is done. Beautiful concept. Great job, Anna Hersum. Um Yeah, so there we go. That is my Creative Craft Academy for July. Um, and her papers, these rice papers are amazingly beautiful. Um, it just didn't do it justice on this plate. And that was the only one I had of butterfly. So hopefully I'll get some more, um, in the future, but in future kits, because I really, the butterfly was my favorite rice paper. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for staying till the end. And remember to like or subscribe, like and subscribe, um, if you want to see more. Thanks.